Oh God. Welcome to the 6,000 subscribers special Q&A. Oh wait, I almost forgot something. That's better. <laughs> but I might as well room because I usually have them off during the Q&A. Okay, let's get started. Uh, Joshua Reed says, what is the Hertz of P50? Well, I have um, a little file I have here that shows that. Now, P50 is dual toned. So, um, he has two different pitches that he sounds simultaneously. He's 12 8 port, which would be 700 hertz and 466 hertz. Those two tones played on top of each other would sound like a P50. Cool Domino um, uh, asked me, how did you make the voice laugh like that? Uh, you're probably talking about the Microsoft Sam voice. That I just type ha 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 into the, um, uh, the keyboard. I just type H -A -H, -A -H, -A -H, -A -H, -A H A H A H A H A H A. I do that with the Vokey voices too. Jack's Vacuum and Safety comments, can't you find spare batteries for a Windows 7 and a charger? Well, yeah, maybe if I ever do, like, um, a stop-motion video or something, uh, with this computer I might consider getting a new battery and charger if I need to start moving this thing around the house more often. You yeah, because it's a laptop, so, yeah. Sirens of Railroads in South Carolina, um, uh, comments, Let me be real here. I enjoy TSM. I think it's creative and funny, but honestly, the only problem I have about it is the singularity thing. No offense, BSP, but I know you want to be single, but... I th but you know there could be girls out there that like sirens and whatever. Aside from that, pretty nice recording. You gotta love that classic 10-12 port sound. I'm not giving up my singularity, man. <laughs> I'm too cool to be in a relationship. Alright. <clears throat> um, no scoper comments. Hey, can you do the Gents of Lay Sister 1938 the 39 Carter video if some left in your country. I think only the UK and Australia have some left. So, uh, There are no Carter sirens in the US. Those are all British sirens. Uh, the American similarity would obviously be the 2T22. Uh, so that's probably the best as you're gonna get. All those other Carter and Jets sirens, those are all European sirens. So, yeah. British sirens, so yeah. Fan Alb Productions comments, why does P15 look like his eyes are dilated? Well, uh, that's because when I drew him, I drew his eyes too small at first, or his head anyway, too small, and I just got lazy, and instead of redrawing it, I just enlarged it a little bit, and that made his pupils slightly bigger too. Gabriel Purpura comments, what is the singularity barrier? Well, it's basically sort of the barrier that protects me from anti-singularitization. As you know, about a year ago, uh, a YouTuber named Tia Schlitz penetrated it, but now that she has more of a crush on Ben Glebe from uh, Idiot Test, my singularity um, barrier is not penetrated anymore, as far as I know. That one katana says, Hey BSP, is your mini Thunderbolt a System 7000? No, I, I tried to run it on batteries once, but the batteries didn't supply enough current, so it has to be run on an AC adapter. It's a 1000T. So, yeah. The System 7000 is basically a, a Thunderbolt with a power generator on it, but the power generator is, like, big enough for the Thunderbolt siren itself to fit inside. It's like the power generator for a, a Thunderbolt 7000 is, is, like, as big as a storage locker. It's huge. It almost looks like a transportable storage locker, too, because it's got these big doors on the front. So, yeah. Dr. Matrix LC commented, Why don't you put a washer in the chopper? Because it'd probably slide around or maybe make it off balance or something. Plus it's easier just to put a capacitor in the chopper circuit rather than having to take it apart and put a washer in there. Plus it'd probably still wind down too quickly with a washer. Wouldn't be heavy enough because that chopper is really small. Curious T times times adventures, gaming and more, comments, is that a new blockhead in the background? He commented that on 
uh, the first video, the Mini Thunderbolts capacitor, where it failed. Yes, I 3D printed a blockhead, but that was like one of my first 3D prints, so it didn't really come out as good as I'd hoped, and that is at that point I ran out of white material. about super singularitization none to store up enough anticipation come on man there ain't no complication with super duper ultra singularitization do whatever i want never have to think first i'm using my computer till i go freaking insane i'm going bananas playing video games messing up mario with my game genie never gotta worry about being interrupted cause i'm a single pringle i never gonna mingle dude it's all about super singularitization, none to store up enough anticipation. Come on, man, there ain't no complication with super duper ultra singularitization. Time to enjoy life being single, just sitting on the couch and chilling out. Watching TV, having some popcorn, and no one's gonna come and shut it off. I'm so free, I can do anything, no one to stop me or try to get me I'm working on a project that's for myself and not something I don't wanna have to make Solving a Rubik's Cube in under three minutes cause no one's gonna come and mess it up for me DUDE it's all about super singularitization, none to store up enough anticipation. Come on, man, there ain't no complication with super duper ultra singularitization. Single, pringle, never gonna mingle. And I wanted to order more white material so I could make a Mini 2001, which I did 3D model. Uh, it's a 2001 DC, made with the same rotator that the Mini Thunderbolt has, and uh, crafted from scratch. This is the head part, the part with the siren chopper and stator and the horn or uh, projector cone or anything like that or horn cone or something like that anyway here's the picture of the 3d model so yeah that's the 3d model of the mini 2001 dc but um I don't have any white material to print it with yet because I have another reel of yellow material on the way so I can finish the mini Thunderbolt. So yeah. I also have some new nozzles on the way since the old nozzle on my 3D printer got so clogged I can't even unclog it so I'm getting in a new nozzle. Which isn't going to come until predicted earliest I think July 16th. So it's going to be a while before my 3D printer is up and running again. And when I finally got my 3D printer up and running again it turns out I bought the wrong size nozzle because my 3D printer just completely gave me the middle finger and printed out something that breaks like super easily like I can just rip this apart and peel it like a banana look at this, I, I can just peel this off like this it just peels like a banana and this just rips right apart revealing the innards um, and you can almost see through it. Now well, the camera probably can't see through it. But it was obviously under extruding, so I guess I can get my hands on some 0.4 millimeter nozzles because the one I used that gave this crappy model um, were 0.2 millimeter nozzles. So, um, yeah. Go and check this part out that just came off. This broke off of here with no effort at all. It just snapped right off. And I can squeeze it too. Get rid of that. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on some better nozzles, and then maybe I can get my 3D model of the Mini Thunderbolts control box uh, printed out, so I can put all the circuits inside the control box. Zach the Country Boy comments, "Hey, are you keeping it outside and putting it on a, an actual little pole?" That's uh, about the Mini SD10. No, it, it, it's, um, yeah, it's, no, I'm not going to put it outside. It's not loud enough. Plus, it's, uh, we already have a siren in our neighborhood anyway, so, yeah. DJ Mario says, Hi, BSP, it's me, DJ Mario again. I wanted to know, can you make a Mini 2001 siren, 2001 SRN DC or SRNB? He forgot about 130. Please tell me when you will make more sirens, many models of 3D printed models like this. I did earlier, like I said, I made a Mini 2001. Well, I haven't... I 3D modeled it, but I haven't made it yet. Like, I haven't 3D printed it yet. So, yeah. Plus, I recently bought some fireworks, so I'm kind of low on cash right now to get new parts. Um, uh, 
for the mini sirens, like motors and switches and stuff. Creeper Boy and Friends comments, Will that be able to withstand the conditions outside? Pretty effective of a siren, though. About the Mini SD10? No, probably not, because it's made out of PLA, which I heard is, like, really sensitive to, like, heat or something, or el the elements. Like, it probably would deform quicker outside than it would inside. So, yeah. If it were made out of ABS or something, maybe then maybe it would have survived outside, but I still wouldn't put it outside, because if it hailed, it'd nearly destroy it. Like a tornado would destroy it since it's just a mini siren made out of plastic just for like little siren demo purposes or whatever. Um, but it's best suited for indoor warning, kind of like the Mega Blaster Jr. The mini SD10 is. Snowcube commented, sounds a lot better, but could you probably make it wind down even longer by connecting both caps together? Capacitors. Also, are you going to publish the uh, .stl files for this whole thing once it's finished? I think that's the mini Thunderbolt and or the Mini SD10, probably not because of how complicated everything is, and it is probably successfully not work the first time you print it. So it's very unlikely I'll be putting the .stl files online anytime soon. But, mm, nice question. John Bird Bodriox comments, uh, 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 actually five questions. Uh, why did you make TSM? I think I answered that in one of my earlier Q&As. It's because Random Siren Sanity inspired me to make it. Um, uh, would you do Alabama Tornado Sirens? I don't live in Alabama, so I couldn't record any of those sirens. Do you think you deserve more subscribers? The subscribers come as they come, so... I guess I just let what happens happen. Can you make higher resolution videos? I feel like everyone's used to um, the, the smaller window that Tornado Siren Madness is in. And do you have all? Do you have a map of all the Tornado Sirens in the USA? Um, uh, no, I don't. But I'm pretty sure you could look that up on the internet somewhere on Google, Google Maps or something. Anyway, that's all the questions and answers I have for this Q&A. This is Broken Solar Panel signing off.